Hey guys, this is Hot Noob, and um, with uh, in this video we're going to be looking at the my uh, six posts that I've written. This one is um, just creating a basic addition calculator. This will be your second program that actually does something, right? It's remotely useful. You'll probably never use this ever again, though. So, like um, normal, just um, start up uh, Visual Studio compiler, uh, whatever program you're using, I suggest you keep with Microsoft Visual Studio, it's pretty good. And um, just as a tipper, if you're a student at a school, mainly colleges, post-secondary, you can get this for free at uh, dreamspark.com, it's, you know, Microsoft gives it free because they want to promote, you know, Windows programming, right? So anyway, um, this is post 6, so I'm going to call this post 6. You guys can call it whatever you want, basic edition calculator, you know, like mind first calculator, something crazy like that if you really want. Um, so in this one, again, pretty much for every program I'm going to post up, it's going to be putting most of the things together. And uh, we're going to be putting, you know, the past five posts together. Um, really, there's no if statements in this. We could put if statements if we really wanted to. Right, okay, let's put if statements in this version as well. So, let's start off by asking the question. Write line. Enter the first, well, this is more like a command than a question anyway. Number you want to add, right? Um, string response. And um, remember, all of these functions are case sensitive, which is another reason why I suggest you stick with Microsoft's um, Visual Studio Editor, whatever you, you know, one of Microsoft's pro um, programs, because they'll do the capitalization for you for the most part, which is really nice, and you don't even have to type in the whole thing, as you've probably noticed by now. So, um, I'm going to do int number one, right, equals whatever, don't need to define it. So, um, in this case, rather than in, in the example, you see there's no if statement. I'm going to make this a bit more user friendly. If, right, response, or ins.tryfars, there's fars, whatever I'll call the fars. Um, response out number one, right? So, if you didn't get it from my uh, last post, the last post, um, out means that this is number, you know, where it's going to be outputted, right? You usually use out when you want to output more than one variable type or variable, right? Um, you'll learn more about this later on. So, um, you know, if, whatever, I'm going to say console.writeLine invalid number, right? Um, in which case, we can decide to end the program. Or continue on with the value being zero. So, since it's pretty u much useless, we're just going to end it. And because this is a function, saying return will like return the value, and you'll learn about that later on. This pretty much ends the program because we only have one thread of processing, right? Which again you'll learn later on, right? So um, if that's true, right, it'll continue on. Right line. Enter the first number you want to add. Whoops, <laughs> I just read that. The second. Right, um, and we're just going to reuse the response variable because right now it's doing nothing and we're never going to be using it again. It's just like a temporary one. So try and reuse try to reuse your temporary variables because you don't want any massive memory leaks or anything like that. 
just more efficient this way. So console dot read line oops. Right? It's, it's all good. I like it. And then we're gonna find int number two. And again, if int is response out this time number two, because we want to keep the value of number one for when we're doing the math. And um, again, you know, invalid number, we're just going to copy and paste that there. Okay. So console dot write line. Um, right, so uh, right now we have the two numbers. Just look here, right? I'm um, just going to say int total. Total equals number one plus number two, right? And um, normally, you know, you don't actually have to say in total equals, right? This is only if you're using it on later on or more than once. In our case, we're not going to be using it again, but just for learning purposes, we're going to put it in a variable. So um, we're going to say the sum of and notice the pluses, right? This is um, how you combine strings and stuff, you know, just like numbers pretty much. Number one. And um, notice that how the integer is automatically converted to a string. If you want it to be really proper and exact, you can say dot to string. I like to just do it this way. Of number one. Number two, oops. Number two. So the sum of number one and number two is, and we're going to add the total into there. Console dot line. Right. Console dot line. So um, if uh, you wanted to do this more efficiently, you rather than having your total here take this, put it in brackets, right, and this will be converted, the results will be converted into a string. And um, the reason why you want to put it in brackets is, well, I'll just show you, you get a completely different result. You didn't put it in brackets, let's say 10 and blah. I made a mistake here, does not equal. Just remember that. <laughs> it's embarrassing. 10 and 20. You see it just puts them right by side by side, you know, as if you're adding two strings. So you put it in brackets to um, pretty much tell it that you're adding two integers rather than an integer integer to a string. Because when you add an integer to a string, it converts the int to a string automatically. So Let's run it. Let's say 10 plus 20 equals 30, right? Or 10 plus 11, 21. 3 plus 4, 7. Oh my god, you made a calculator. Well, we made a calculator anyway. <laughs> Congratulations, you made your second program that actually does something. Unless you guys are just here. Okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the end of post 6, which is basic addition calculator.